Jack, I said to you on Saturday after the game that you might want to come down here and right some of the wrongs from the last time you were here. You must feel like the team done that tonight. Yeah, I, I, I'm delighted for the supporters probably because the team has changed a lot in that period. But the supporters have remained the same. They were the ones that had to endure that night because I, I did talk about how, how it was one of my low points and we were comprehensively beaten that night. So to come back, I would have taken any sort of victory here tonight, but to come back and win here in the manner we did in the manner of the scoreline is, is really pleasing for us. A good indicator on how much the team has grown under you, even though there have been many changes? Yeah, the, the one thing that I said to, us, to the squad before the game tonight was that I have absolute trust in them. I, I'm more than happy to come to places like this and to go to Falkirk on Saturday with that group because I believe they can go and win games, any games in this league. And they've shown that, shown that again. Difficult conditions tonight in terms of weather. Difficult in, in terms of everything that goes around the derby match, the atmosphere and how frenetic it is. They handled all aspects of the game and, and showed real moments of quality, in particular the goals they scored. Obviously, after Morton scored their equaliser, they came out. Were you pleased with the character that the team showed to kind of see them off in that period and hold them off? Yeah, I, I don't know how much people could appreciate how strong the wind was. You know, it, it was very difficult to play against first half and to get cleared defensively. And um, I thought we did well to withstand that in the first half. We stressed at half time the importance of trying to make that that wind advantage count for us in the second half, particularly with shots at goal. And Stevie's done that right away. You know, in the start of the second half is, is outstanding for us. Um, and I thought we saw the game out well today. We, you know, other occasions we've been a bit more jittery. I thought we were solid defensively. Um, and the whole squad, I was going to say, the whole team, the whole squad deserve enormous credit to it. Obviously, you will praise the whole squad and it is a team game, but like you mentioned about Stevie Mallon's goal, he's made a habit of scoring goals like that. How pleasing was it for him to get another one? It, Stevie will grab headlines because he's got that ability to produce moments of magic, and that's why he's an asset to us, and that's why he attracts attention from other clubs. There's been a huge change in him over the last few months. I, I think that he's, he's found his confidence again, he's found his belief in his ability. I think the squad changes have helped him as well. And, Pleased for him because he had frustrations in January that were well documented as well. I think the relationship I have with him has helped that and, and he's repaid me with that because he's um, he's made outstanding contributions. I mean, it was the same again tonight, but we had, you know, all over the pitch, we had players that were terrific tonight. Defensively, I thought we were very good. Guys like Ken McGuinness, who 18 years old, people forget, you know, just consistently very, very good. Uh, but, you know, singling players out is unfair because there's a whole squad that was terrific. And how pleasing is that, you know, given there was maybe a wee bit of frustration on Saturday with the 1-1 draw, to come here, pick up three points in the, in the manner of the performance? Yeah, I know I said this post-match and we did it, um, we were in on Sunday, we were in on Monday preparing for the game and I just kept hammering home to the players not to be despondent from Saturday, even if you watched the game back and we, and we were still dominant in terms of trying to push to win the game, we didn't play fluidly but we were still on the front foot and I knew tonight they would respond, I knew tonight would suit them. Everything that went around the game would, would suit the squad, the players, the atmosphere, the expectation, because they respond to that because they're, they're good players. Um, so, pleasing that we've, we've came out the bottom two with this manner of result. How heartening should this result be if you consider the fact that I think before tonight morning had only been beaten here in, once in the last year? Yeah, we, I knew this would be an incredibly difficult match because of that record, because of how good the team team Morton are. They are where they are in the league for a reason. Um, so to come here and, and win, as I mentioned, the first question would have taken any sort of victory, but to come here and win in that manner is, um, is terrific. And I was going to say it puts us in the best possible frame of mind for the last four games. They're there anyway. This group of players are there. They feel good about themselves. They feel good about each other. Uh, and that uh, it leaves us in a good place. You have moved off that playoff spot as well. That was something you talked about. You wouldn't be happy until you were off of that. You are off of that now. Confident going into the final four games that you'll stay off it? I believe for several months that we wouldn't go down. I know I've said it often enough, but it's always been my belief. Um, it's not going to change now. Have you got four difficult games left? Of course we have, and we need to reproduce this type of performance level. We can't dip. As soon as we dip, we'll start dropping points. As soon as we, if, if we can maintain our standards, then we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll win games and we'll, we'll pick up points.